Good morning, Floss Tube, and welcome to my channel. This is Leona, um, Grammy Stitcher, and I want to thank you for joining me today. And I also want to show you some hauls that you can use from Dollar Tree to finish your cross stitch projects. Um, thank you for watching, and I hope you stay and like the video. And let's get started. My haul from Dollar Tree, I have, oh, another BOGO. I have this bow and this bow that I'll be able to use in finishing some cross stitch. I have this cute little ribbon here with foxes and coffee cups and just different little things on it. I have this ribbon with leaves and this ribbon that says Happy Halloween. It's got spider webs and spiders. Uh, they give me the creeps, but they make good decorations for Halloween. And I have this ribbon with the red trucks that are so famous right now with pumpkins. I have these flowers, orange, white, black, and purple to add to things. I have ghosts that say boo. And the witch's cauldron with her feet up. I have some uh, little foam things for their ghost bats and pumpkins. And I have a little a uh, metal pie pan tart thing to put a finish inside here. And this is one of my favorites. The witch with her cauldron. I intend to put a cross stitch here on the cauldron. And you can do it either side, whichever way you wanted to do it. And I have quite a few pumpkins. I have this pumpkin, which you can also use either side to put a cross stitch on. I have this pumpkin that says thankful and blessed. And it has a little leaf up here. And if you don't like that, you can always put a cross stitch on the back here to enjoy. And I love this one. Pumpkin spice and everything nice. This one I'll probably hang just this way. But if you wanted to, you could put a cross stitch on the back. And then I have this um, home sweet home. And this one you can also hang this way or put three smalls on the back if you wanted to. And then I had to pick up my red truck that says Farm Fresh Fall with the pumpkin patch. And then I got a mason jar again with the truck. This one says Happy Harvest. And if you wanted to put something on the back, you could also do that here. And last but not least, I have this 
be thankful pumpkin. And it also has where you could put something on the back. But this is really pretty on the front. Now, I have this wooden piece, which has got a sailboat at the top. And then it's just tall and long. And I have a pattern picked out already to go on this one. Which, hopefully I brought it over here to show you, but I'm not sure I did. Um, that's the end of my Dollar Tree haul. Now, I want to show uh, some things that I got in haul this week. In the mail. Do, 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 do. Now this is one of them. I guess I should take it out of here. I'm in the month to month for stitching with the housewives and I got my October, which I think once I finish my August, which I'm behind on, I'm going to start October and just skip September. There's quite a few people doing that right now. Um, where is my other? Oh. Okay, well, I guess I didn't bring my rest of my haul in here, so I'll have to show you that next week. I'm sorry. I'll be much more organized, and I am new at this, so I am, you know, trying new things and um, just trying to see what works best and what doesn't work, and y'all could comment in the, in the uh, comments and let me know, you know, what you think could be improved and what, you know, else I could do or what other kind of content I could bring y'all that you would enjoy seeing. Um, so now I'll just move on to my whips that I've been working on this week, which I haven't done a lot of stitching this week. I've been running around taking my daughter places. <laughs> she's getting a new job and she's had to do a lot of different things. Um, I haven't really introduced myself much on here. My name is Leona. I'm married to a retired Navy. Um, and I have three kids and three grandkids. My kids are all grown. We have lived in Italy for two years. That's something about me. I was on a plane on 9-11, which those will be stories to come up sometime that I'll talk about. Um, I have pretty much moved a lot of different places during the 20 years of the Navy. Uh, we have two dogs right now, a pit bull and a terrier mix. The pit bull is my daughter's dog, which she left with us. And the terrier mix is my dog. And funny enough, I got a dog in Italy. And this dog that I got here in Virginia looks exactly like my dog in Italy. Acts like the dog I had in Italy. I got him from the rescue. And as soon as I seen him, I was like, that's my dog. And his name is Prince, and the other dog's name is Snowflake. But on with this, you want to see cross-stitch and not hear my story. Um, here is one that I worked on, Spring House. It's by Primrose Cottage Stitches. And here's my progress on it.
and it is a model stitch for Chantel uh, Designs uh, 141. 141 designs. Um, and next, that I've worked on a little bit since the last time, um, is my Welcome Autumn. And I added in the Welcome and part of the acorns. Um, and this is a sal from Nicole, S-P-O-H-R. If you want to check out her YouTube, um, she talks about it. And we meet Monday nights and do um, Stitch Along. Um, if you want to see that. And that's pretty much what I've worked on this week. Now I'm going to show you what I want to add. Um, I can't show that. I'm trying to find where the page is. Okay. Um, I'm in the Strawberry Berries Club for Dying to Stitch. And this is my Morning Dove by Erica Michaels. This was the first one we were sent. And again, I'm behind on this one. But this is where I'm at so far. Um, and this will be my first strawberry. I've never done one before, so I'm excited to see how it turns out. So I may pull this out and work on it this next week a little bit. And this one is my August month to month. I've done a little bit on it, but it hasn't been much. Um, I've done a little bit more of the A. And that's why I said when I get this done, I'm going to skip right into October. Even though I do have the September one, and I can show you that. Well, they would put those in the back. It would help, I think. Let me see if I can get it ready to show you here. I'll just put it out. And this is the September one, which I will be skipping, like I said, and moving right on to October. And then I'll come back and stitch this one in between times. Um, the big part of it is takes me a while because it is a larger piece. Um, but I intend to get it finished because I have bought the board that to finish it on. It just hasn't came in yet. So I'll be showing you all that when it comes in. And here's another one that I'm working on, or that I want to start working on again. I kind of put it aside for a little bit. And that is Cross Stitch Camp 2022. And then there's a little camper that'll be underneath that. And I do have a finish that's attached here, so I'll go ahead and show it. Magnets want to stick together. And it is a mason jar USA.
but I do want to try to work on this camp stitch again. I haven't done much with it. Oh, of course, my magnet came off. So I'll just stick it all back in there together. And everybody's pretty much seen the letters to Santa. So I'm just going to show you where I'm at on it. And I've already bought the little envelope thing that this is going to go on. I've only started the border. Um, but I do want to get stitching on it again. Because I have, like I said, already bought the display. It hasn't came in yet, but it's already bought. And here's the other piece of my haul. One of them is the Just Cross Stitch magazine that just came out. I haven't even opened it yet. That's why it's, and I'm sorry about the glare. Let's see if I can get the glare out of there. There we go. So that's the next uh, Just Cross Stitch magazine. And that is pretty much all the cross stitch I want I have for you right now. Um, I'm gonna show a couple of these here if I can. Let's see a couple of my quilts that are waiting on me to use the long arm that's here behind me that you see in the picture. Some of these I don't even remember the names of because I've had them sitting here so long. I have a big pile here to work on. But I'm just showing you parts here. But it could be a pattern from Fat Quarter Shop. It could be a pattern from Pat Sloan. Um, because somebody had asked to see some of my quilting. Uh, so I'm going to show a couple of quilts that, like I said, I got ready to. This one is Halloween. So I need to really get working on this one. So I've got candy corns and pumpkins and black cats. But that's another one on my pile over here too, long arm. Uh, now, this one was around Robin, so I do know what this one is. And it also needs ready to be long armed. This was around Robin I was in a little while back. People just done some amazing job on it. I love it. Like I said, I am a survivor of breast cancer. This is my 10th year. I've had cancer three times since I first got it in 2012. Um, so I love all the breast cancer kind of patterns and um, fabrics. And uh, things. So, well, that's all I have for you. I do want to thank you so much if you stayed till the end and I appreciate it. Um, 
I appreciate it so much. And I would also appreciate if you could subscribe, like, and comment down below. Um, just any comments you have for it. Uh, I thank you again for watching. And for my returning viewers, I really appreciate you. And for my new viewers, I appreciate you as well. And just thank you so much. And y'all have a good week. And I'll see you back here next week. Have a wonderful time and happy stitching. Bye-bye.